All right, welcome back. So, in this video, looking at how to carry out another binary arithmetic, but our focus will be on subtraction. All right, so important rule for us to note is this. If you are subtracting, if you are subtracting 0 from 1, it should give us 1. And if you are subtracting, <coughs> if you are subtracting 1 minus 1, it should give us 0. We are also subtracting 0 minus 0 should give you 0. So just this rule, to note this rule in hand. So if that is the case, so let's say we have a case study example, we want to subtract. I think we want to subtract <coughs> 1, 0. Subtract this, so let's subtract this from this. Not to carry out this operation, 1, 0, minus 1. Then before we do that, let's come to our normal everyday life, our base 10, normal base 10. Assuming you have, you have 100, what is subtract 100 naira from, from 7? What is subtract 100 from 7, a normal base 10? Or say, what is subtract 10 from 7, a normal base 10? So now I say 0 minus 7 cannot go, so we carry 1. So we borrow 1. When we borrow that 1, it becomes 10. So if the 1 we borrow becomes 10 because it's in the 10. So now I say 10 minus 7 will give you 3. This one becomes 0. Because then if I will borrow 1 from here, here becomes 0, here becomes 10. So that gives us that. Likewise, 100. If you are doing 100 minus 7, normal this 10. So carry 1 here. If we borrow this one, here becomes 0, here becomes 10. So then there is nothing on top of this. We're going to borrow one again. Borrow one from here, here becomes 9, here becomes 10. So 10 minus 3 will give us 3, then this 9 will come down. So <clears throat> if that is the case, if we, so when we borrow 1, it comes to the base, which is 10. So let's come back to this our binary. So in terms of binary, likewise, so one will subtract this. So subtract column by column. 0 minus 1 cannot go, so we borrow 1 from here. So we borrow 1 from here. We borrow 1 from here. This one becomes 0. This one becomes 2. So this one becomes 2 based on the base. It's, it's in base 2. So 2 minus 1 will give you 1. So here becomes 0. So just a confirmation. 1 and 0 is 2. This is 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's how our answer is. So that's how to perform subtraction from binary. So another example is this. <clears throat> another example we have is, I think you have what to subtract 1, 1, 0, 0. Want to subtract 1, 1, 0, 0 from 1, 0. Want to subtract these two values from 1, 0. Now, 0 minus 0, sure, is 0. 0 minus 1. Cannot go. So we borrow one from here. So we borrow one from here. So here becomes zero. And here becomes two. So two minus one gives you one. This one gives you zero. This gives you one. Just a confirmation. Just a confirmation. This is in binary. Eight plus four. This is twelve. And this is two. This is two. So twelve minus two should give you ten. So, and let's go back to half 10, 8 plus 2, 10. So, that's how we got is correct. One more example for us to call it a day for today. We want to subtract 100. 100 from 1. We want to subtract 100 uh, from 1. Now, so, 0 minus 1 cannot go. So, come here to borrow. So come here to borrow. There's nothing here to borrow. So come to the first one to borrow. So borrowing from this first one. So we borrow from this one. Here becomes zero. Here becomes two. So why right here is two? So we also borrow one from here. Here becomes one. Here becomes two. So two minus one. This will give us one. This one will come down. And this one will give us zero. Just for a confirmation. One zero zero. This is four. And this is one. So 4 minus 1 should give us 3. So this is 2, this is 1, so this is 3. So that's how to perform subtraction on binary. Thank you.